Hi guys, it's Erin here, hashtag mama bear, uh, from the home office of Team Hope. Uh, our community, this is where all the magic happens. Um, it's incredible, what an opportunity this is. It's Friday, April the 9th. What incredible spring this has been. I have been at peace. I have been um, blown away of what I've been part of. I just came off a five and a five hour webinar that it was absolutely mind blowing. It's been a long time since I had a chat with you and typically I do Facebook lives, but I thought today I'll just do a video and, and you'll see this on my Facebook. I will share it out. Um, social media, of course, all my other different platforms that I'm on. Uh, but I was actually prior to our CEO giving us a challenge today at the end of the call, I was actually thinking, geez, I need to do an update call. I need to let everybody know what's happening in my world. Well, there's light at the tunnel. Our family's been through a lot of darkness this past year in many different ways in our personal life. Uh, my husband was laid off last year, March of 2020. Uh, he just got started at work April the 5th, just this past Monday, um, to what he really truly wants to pour his heart and soul into to help his group of people, his community. Uh, that That's what a perfect marriage is. We can be completely two different people, but we can, we can blend so well. And I just truly really want to say that I have been blessed for several years uh, being married to my wonderful husband. It'll be 24 years this August. It's crazy how time flies. And with so much darkness this, this past year, uh, for so many families, I know our, our, our family, our extended family in the Springs have been recently um, affected by COVID. And yet, I also believe that we need to listen to our intuition and keep fighting and, and fight for, of course, there's a massive theme. We know what it is. It's freedom. And uh, in my lifetime living here in Canada all my life, in Alberta, I have never seen this. This is insane. I think people are waking up. We're at the beginning of the Great Awakening. If, if you're still sleeping, if you're listening to mainstream media, hey, I was, made, I was raised on mainstream media. Uh, that was the typical thing to do is go watch, you know, the six o'clock news every day of life or the noon news or whatever, <laughs> depending what your job and your schedule is. But um, this is the day and age that we're in a revolution. And I, I'm hearing this more and more from different people, talking to lots of people behind the scenes on a daily basis all around the world. And we are going into an era of history that there's going to be peace, love and joy that no one's ever seen before because we have been compressed for so many years uh, of craziness. And it's all coming to light right now. And it's all led by a group of um, world leaders that are now coming out and sharing what's happening. And uh, so if you are one of the ones watching mainstream media, you need to pay attention and listen to your gut intuition and listen to ones that have some true facts and history uh, that even myself, I just learned recently that we were duped on our social studies. We didn't really learn the true history of what what actually happened many centuries ago, <laughs> way before I was born, of course. And but it's history. It's 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 history of where we need to take our our planet Earth, our human beings, to the future. With that being said, I've also been a big voice of kind of being that. I shouldn't say bad, bad ass, but, <laughs> you know, stretching myself beyond staying in the matrix. Uh, you know, being that entrepreneur. I seen it 24 years ago. It was the summer after we got married, actually the fall after we got married in 1997. And uh, I seen it before then, but I didn't really pay attention because my life was, I was in a different part of my journey. And I knew I needed to be part of it. And at first it was direct sales for several years because then we had children and the kids were little and stuff, but I was still working my full-time job, my career in many different avenues of, of work uh, because, of course, I always believe in diversifying my work, not just staying in one type of job um, and wanting to learn more and more and keep developing and, and everything. So 
then I carried on into building teams globally. And that was about the time my husband actually 11 years ago, um, when just before he had open heart surgery, so about 11 years, 12 years ago. And that was just incredible when I started understanding to really truly help the world in a bigger way. So that being said, you say, Aaron, where did you get your skills from? Where is that coming from? Where Where is that really coming from? And that was because I grew up from incredible parents. They, I come from a small town in Alberta, Swan Hills, oil and gas town. And uh, pretty much majority of that's what that town was for the industry, the local industries, and for the resources, uh, natural resources. Um, I also, so my dad w w worked for them uh, in that industry and he's happily retired, of course, and he looks amazing at 78 years old and uh, he inspires me every single day just to keep going and he never stops. I mean, the man keeps building things. It's crazy. He's always busy. <laughs> he never, he's like an energizer bunny. His, his nickname was Fast Eddie. <laughs> I think that's where I kind of get like everybody's like Aaron you're multitasking every time like you're just all over how can you do what you do and I think I get it from there that also I also get it from my mother she, she I also the era that I grew up you only needed one income stream to survive to support your family nowadays you need two at least minimum two income streams sometimes four to five income streams depends what you do for work and stuff or people like to diverse to have multiple income streams. I am one of those. And I always been ever since the year that we got married, a month after we got married. So I was blessed to be raised with, by my mother and she was did a lot of volunteer work when we were little with all of the groups and organizations that my brother and I were a part of. And then it just naturally happened that she's like, I think I need to get involved in your education your curriculum let's i need to be on the school board so she was on the school board for a school board trustee for eight and a half years did that as we grew up over the years then he she transitioned into town council and she was on town council for four four terms uh and the terms are three years um and then through that she was a deputy mayor she was on tons of organizations and boards as a rep of a town council. I came along and I was part of many different organizations, boards, community boards, and I did a lot of volunteering. I did tons of stuff. I helped them run a homecoming reunion, town reunion, etc. There was just so much uh, that I learned from my mother and I'm so grateful, absolutely grateful for those morals, those values, those skills that she gave me and I think that's why when Darcy and I got married a month a month later I got introduced to uh this incredible industry beyond the J-O-B J-O-B which is fine I mean there's lots of people who love their J-O-B whatever industry they're in but they like to do something else to give back to to help others so that's what the, my journey was uh obviously like I said as I got farther into my journey, I started developing skills, finding more inner side traits, the personal traits that I didn't know I had uh, through my journey. And I have, you know, got ample of, you can see uh, oh, tons of different awards over the years, trips, uh, earned car, car, car bonuses, done amazing things. But I also knew through that journey that I, could give back more if I could find some tools to help me teach my people because I naturally come from hairdressing and florist work and then what are those two industries I talk to people so I naturally can talk to people just like doing these videos I can naturally talk to people I can walk up to strangers and start up conversations most people can't like 97% can't so I was looking actually for a op um, a uh, tools like I didn't mind. I didn't mind me myself investing in the company so I could provide tools to my team. Unfortunately, 2020, uh, my husband was laid off. Uh, later in August of 2020, uh, my sailboat pretty much got flipped over, and I was a leader of a company, and it was crazy. But whatever. It's it. I 
I don't dwell on it anymore because I believe in teaching people experiences and how you never ever should give up. You just pick up and you just go and you just be that bull in a china shop or however you want to say it. But maybe it's a mama bear. Just pick up your cubs and just say, come on, let's go. We're, we're, we're going to find something. Um, it's unfortunate that the actions happened that way. To this day, they've never picked up the phone to actually have a call with me. So that tells me right there what their integrity is of their company, which is fine, whatever. But I truly love a lot of people in their field, <laughs> in their company, in, in the field, because I worked with so many people. But that's okay. Everybody's on their journeys. So what I loved about this opportunity is that I could be a founder of an IT company. So when I found out, first of all, it was not a network marketing company. It was not a direct sales company. It was actually an IT company with artificial intelligence and it was gonna get provide us tools to help our people. So I'm like, woo, it doesn't conflict anything, right? Um, so that's what I was really but focused on. But over the months, I recognized that there's something much bigger here. And over months, as we were all going through 2020, we also noticed there was something much bigger than the COVID virus. So I paid attention because my mom was a very true servant leader in her community. I've always got, even through school, I was always very keen to social studies, to history. I am absolutely blown away that I've been put in the, in this place for a reason I don't I, I know that kind of sounds kind of cliche kind of thing but I will tell you we are put in our in the path of our personal journeys for a reason and today after this five hour webinar that we got off of when we're all living in the most darkest times of our lifetime that we've never seen our entire lifetime ever been we always hear maybe our great grandparents or you know great 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 grandparents living through some dark times in the history of of the, of the world i will tell you that we are correction to the corruption for many reasons uh we are about to go into soft launch i think we would have actually hit soft launch a few months back but because of the events that's happening in the world right now, that's all coming clear. It's all opening up. Again, it's, this is not on mainstream media. Just FYI, I can't stress that enough. We have been giving, the man above has given us the opportunity to use our voice. That is why I'm not scared to go out and start talking and creating the conversation with people. Because when I started seeing the things were not lining up correctly, I was like, okay, something's happening. But I knew that there was a reason why on passive is becoming a massive buzz. There today there was an analogy called uh, we're going to create an internet quake, uh, meaning earthquake, but on the internet. Um, and just so you know, there there's a new internet coming. <laughs> there's there's so much coming, it's crazy. So today I know a lot of us who are awake through the Great Awakening. It's the beginning the beginning of the Great Awakening is a lot of people are scared for the the women and children and of course men there's even boys that are getting uh human trafficked and a lot of people don't want to speak about this this um subject but unfortunately we have to because we are, we are meant to be on this earth to provide a solution and one of the products that we got to see from our corporate team, our staff on a Hyderabad city in India, is going to be a correction to the corruption. And uh, it's a tracking tracker system with our uh, devices, whether it's cell phones, whether it's laptops, desktops. Um, it's unbelievable. There was not a dry, eye, dry tear at all when we got to see that video and got to see all the elements and all the features of that product. It's, it's absolutely incredible. And at the same time, our dear CEO, Ash Mafar, launched O Women. And O Women is not a product, but it's a platform. So all the women in GoFounders opportunity to be a founder of the company um, will be able to have a platform to speak and share their story and share their ins inspiration. And I get that so many people 
that are connected to me directly. Erin, you just inspire me. How do you do it? And I just grabbed other people's belief and I just kept pouring myself into their belief and I knew I could speak. And that is where I am at in my personal life is I can speak with confidence, with, with peace, with uh, just joy of knowing that we're going to go through a incredible, we're already part of history. A lot of people that are maybe sleeping and watching mainstream media are not, un, not understanding that we're, we're, we're living through history right now. I told my group of people, my inner circle, months ago, we're talking last summer, so in July and August and June, that we are living in historical times. At that point, I didn't know all the history. I didn't know all the background, what the heck's really truly going on beyond the virus. Uh, it, like seriously, I'm not saying the virus isn't real. It is real. Our own family has been affected, uh, our extended family. But I will tell you is we need to speak up. We need to raise up. And that's what I loved about the O Women platform. I didn't unmute myself. I didn't raise my hand on the call because I wanted to allow all the women around the world to share their their heart, their passion. They share their te tears, their joy uh, with us. And to, to Ash, to thank him. We are part of a massive part of the solution, what's happening right now in front of our eyes. So if you're looking for a community to be part of a bigger mission beyond yourself, this is the time to get a hold of me, be part of Team Hope, and truly understand that we all have a vision, a voice, a mission, a path, a journey. Just honestly, listen to your intuition. That's what I did. When I started seeing some of my close friends I've known all my life, start speaking out on social media, which typically never ever posted on social media, I knew I needed to really start using my vocal cords. And, and I'm not scared. I, I just say it, it is. We're all allowed to have our opinions. But my opinions are backed up by facts. And that's where I, I really uh, want to share that to people. And I'm blessed to be part of a huge correction to the corruption a uh, big puzzle piece to the new world that we're about to live in. And uh, I know many people have mentioned the word revolution, and it truly is. We are going to be going through a revolution. Most people don't know that we're going to go through a revolution, but maybe they're going to know now that you've heard my, my little share here. So with that, I am thankful, uh, Mr. Ash Mafar. I mean, you've been looking working on this project for back back in 2018 uh and i didn't know you then i only joined the you know september 2020 i know uh you've heard my name <laughs> from some of the leadership council uh but i will tell you i am blessed to be in your presence uh you're an incredible soul you're an incredible individual um all i can tell you that if you're li listening is uh and you're saying hey out Aaron, i want to be part of whatever the heck you're doing that i don't have to go out and recruit hey this is why mr ashmafar created the go founders opportunity because it's for the 97 percent of the people out there that don't want to go out and recruit this is not about recruitment this is about heart and it's about heart with ai artificial intelligence there is good things about artificial intelligence uh, intelligence there's a lot of bad things that are getting portrayed by the evil people is what I'll, I'll just leave it as that. Um, just know that there is peace, love and joy coming and I want you to go out and reflect this weekend. If you have any uh, nerves, uh, intuition, as meaning not nervous, but you know, your ner your, your vibration, that's what I'm looking, sorry, vibration saying, Aaron, I need to know what you're doing entirely. Like, what is this? Hey, we're having our team call tomorrow with Team Hope. We do a, a weekly presentation. We used to do five a week, five English ones, five Hebrew ones, because we have a huge team in Israel. Uh, but, and of course, we have over 30 countries represented in our, in, in our group. 
uh, or, or organization. It is absolutely incredible. It's going worldwide. We're 611,000 people. When I joined back in September 2020, the beginning of September 2020, there was 172,000. So I am blessed to be where I am and uh, anybody else can be here. It, you just got to listen to your gut intuition. Enjoy. Have a wonderful day. Wonderful evening. Wonderful morning. Afternoon. Weekend. And reach out to me and I'll get you hooked up with our team call or uh, we'll have a one-on-one. -on -one. So take care. What a blessing. All I say is team hope, hashtag mama bear, and hashtag oh bless, hashtag oh woman. Uh, I'm just, I'm in awe. So thank you all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.